That's pretty much how it went. <laughs> right, he saw the bullet. He saw it impact, and by the time he looked up to see where it was coming from or where he thought it was coming from, like the second one was already. 99% of the time, if we're going up against people with guns, which was a lot, like it was a very one-sided, extremely yeah. one-sided, yeah. What what deployment did you become a sniper officially? Officially, two thousand eight. Yeah. Okay, so this is for this one, not yeah. your sniper. Yeah. So you've gone through sniper school and all that. Yeah, I went through. So in our uh, battalion during that time, we had a, I would guess you can call it like a sniper pipeline. Um, before we would send guys to sniper school, we would send them to uh, like civilian sniper courses, but they were sanctioned by the U.S. government, U.S. military, mm. Army. Um, I went through a extreme long-range uh, precision sniper school. No, first it was just precision, precision sniper school in, in Texas, a place called Kingsville. I went through a extreme long-range, then I went to a high-angle one in California, but not the Marine Corps one. It was put on by uh, a really well-known <clears throat> shooting instructor, um, and then after that is when I went to sniper school and I think it was like five weeks or six weeks. I forget how long sniper school is. It might be eight weeks long. I don't Was remember. that in Indiana? No, that was in Fort Benning. That was in Fort Benning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, then after that, so I did like four sniper schools before are all together total three before I went to the official U S army one. And that's like, the, it's an easy sniper school course. Um, after you've been through all the other courses you've taken, like you're not even shooting that much in U.S. Army Sniper School. A lot of it, like 10% of it's shooting, 20% of it's shooting, 80 percent's the fundamentals, the um, sniper formulas, the sniper star formulas. Yeah. Um, uh, what's a good one? Okay, so like the scopes we use are mil dot scopes. Inside the scope, you have that crosshair. And you have dots on it, or lines on it, or hash marks on it. And you can use that as a form of measurement to see how far away something is and to adjust for the wind and elevation for the bullet. Um, so let's say an easy calculation would be I'm looking at a target and I measure him from his groin to the top of his head. The average human, the average male body is around 40 inches, uh, give or take a few inches. So 40 times this constant, 24 meters, would be 25.4. And 40 times 25.4 is 1,016. And if I take two mil dots from the groin to the top of your head and plug it into 1,016, it comes out to 508. So I know you're 508 yards away. Um, then there's one for like yards, and it's multiplying it by 27.7. And you get a different formula, different, yeah. But that's the a basic, very basic formula. Then you have your wind formulas, and then you have to go out and apply it and stuff like that. Then you have stalking and everything else. Stalking? Yeah, stalking where your ghillie suit stalking, mm. given a target. Our instructor is sitting in the back of a pickup truck, and you have to sneak within like 200, 300 yards of this instructor. You're given a time limit. And there's a team of instructors looking at you. They know where you're starting from, and they know where you have to be, and they're looking all in that field, that area. And the objective is not to get caught, pull off a shot, and sneak back out without being seen. And they have instructors that after you take the shot will come within a few feet of you. And they'll say, I'm within three feet of the sniper. The instructor on the back of a truck or something, he's looking. He's like, I think I see him down here by your feet at this area, this location. Put your hand on him, top of his head. And they're like, no, that's not him. Um, that's like the hardest part of sniper school. Then you have to sneak back out. And Whoa. Yeah. That's Most intense. people fail that portion, like 70, 60, 70% fail that portion. And then did they get a chance to redo it or are they out? Oh, you get kicked. I mean, you get five. I think it's five chances to do it. I forget. But if you fail, like, you have to make 70% of your stalks. Um, if you don't, then you get kicked out. I'm not sure if you can come back to sniper school or you have to wait like a year or something like that. I have no idea. I went straight through. That's like the only one of the only courses I went straight through. And it wasn't 
hard like that. You were just kind of born for it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. That comes across. Yeah, because like snipers are so fascinating to speak with because it's not to put down any other types of warfare. It's all it, it's yeah. all important, like where it comes from. But like when you're up in front on the assault, it's like you're much more not literally hand to hand, but you know what I mean. You're yeah, right yeah. there, like all right, point, shoot, kill. Mm -hmm. You guys. You know, you're doing fucking Albert Einstein's equations <laughs> up there, and and doing insane math. What's what's the term again for the curvature of the Earth? You got to take into account too. They call that the uh, Coriolis effect. That's it. Yeah, yeah Coriolis. the Coriolis effect, yeah. right? You got to and you. I love that you laid out the formula there and how that would work based on inches and distance. Yeah. And everything. I hope my math is right. What is uh forty times twenty five point four? Should be one thousand sixteen. He didn't have a calculator so. when he was doing this. He would have had a calculator out there. Oh, yeah. But nah, still. No, I wouldn't. No? <laughs> no. You didn't take a calculator I hated, out there with you? I hated technology. Like, I like the old school to, uh, 25.4. 40 times... 40 times 25.4? Yeah. That changes the game that you didn't 16. have a calculator. There yeah, we go. you were dead on. So, it's... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the calculator. I liked the... Um, like old school Carlos Hathcock type Vietnam sniping. Um, Green Berets, they love that stuff. But I was just never into that. Well, I, it's, I mean, it's it's like it the helps. smallest thing can move, can can change from a kill to a complete miss. Oh, 100%. Like, like, a, like literally a millimeter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Which we saw with the attempted assassination. Yes. The first one. So it, it's a matter of it's a matter of millimeters and inches, definitely. And that one was only like three hundred seventy five, four hundred yards. It's very short distance. Right. Yeah. And you're talking about I mean, you did a shot from seven fifty. What was your longest one? Like a thousand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different ball. Over game half right a mile, there. yeah. That was a I'm not gonna say it was luck. It was less math. Well, I did use a, a like apply a little bit of math, but what I did was watch where the bullet impacted the first bullet. Like when it missed, I was like, oh, okay, well, I just need to hold up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just pick it up a little bit. Hold it right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. A little to the left. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. <laughs> right, he saw the bullet. He saw it impact, and by the time he looked up to see where it was coming from or where he thought it was coming from. Like the second one was already apexing, like it was a clean shot, and you can see the vapor trail. It's like the Matrix type. Yeah, yeah. That. I always think. Remember that movie Wanted, where they'd like yeah. turn the bullets oh yeah and yeah shit? yeah yeah yeah. Nah, it's like crazy, but I always think about if some of it is in just enough slow motion for people as highly skilled as you that like it's not like that, but like you can literally almost stop time for a second and feel where that bullet uh, is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is almost like, it takes a trained eye to pick up on um, trail or trace of a bullet. And it takes time, I think, to adapt your eye to it because it's happening so quick. You know, at half a mile, the bullet is taking, um, oh, shit, what is it? 1.7, 1 1.8 seconds to yeah. get there. Um, that's a pretty good chunk of time, you know. But shorter distances, like a few hundred yards, that it's hard to even comprehend how fast that bullet gets there. Can you even, if you're at a thousand yards and it happens to be a day where it's stormy, mm. can you even take that shot? Stormy? No, no. Right. How it's how much wind are we talking? Twenty twenty five miles an hour. Whew. With rain coming down. Rain is not a factor, though. Really? Yeah. Not at all. No. Rain's not a factor. Why not? Bullets moving fast enough and you have a... You ever see the video or a video of a, a super a sonic jet when it's that cone coming off of it? Um, what do we search? Let's pull it up. Uh, I'm not a jet guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cone that comes off the plane <laughs> <laughs> when it's going really fast. Try, Try sonic jet cone coming off plane. Vapor cone? Not the vapor cone. That's uh breaking the sound barrier. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pull. Let's try that one. There Second you go. One there? Yep. Our uh, bullet moving really fast. Um, they have like a still photo. It's almost like that. Also, people, if we if it cuts ahead at some point here, it's because it's copyright and you missed the video. I'll put the link in the description. If not, then we're gonna be able to play. And wanted. There we go. 
I it love that. A, I love that movie. Should be a picture or whatever of like a bullet when it's going. That's not, and that's fake. You can tell because it still has the cartridge attached to the actual projectile. Oh, that's AI. Oh yeah. Damn it. But when you see a a, a still image of a of a bullet, there's a cone going off of it. No, it'd have to be a picture, a still frame. All right, if you find it later, yeah. I'll throw the link yeah. in the description for people. I, I get what you're saying, though. But there's a cone that comes off of it, and it's not affected by any water or anything like that. And those are all fake photos. Oh, there is one right down, the black and white one. It's that cone. Yeah, so you see the... There you go. That's perfect. All that. That's the... Uh, Water does not touch the bullet, doesn't affect the bullet, nothing like that. I would never guess that because, yeah. like, you would just think, like, the physical force. It, I mean, it's not much, but it doesn't take much, you know no, what I mean, to, no, to move no. a bullet off. Once but it hits, the wind does. Yeah, but once it hits transonic, when it stops being supersonic, maybe you might have an issue there. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here.